Hello guys, this is Code and Code and this is sixth lecture of string algorithm series. In this lecture, we are going to study KMP string matching algorithm. So about the prerequisites, we only need very basic requirement to understand the KMP algorithm working. We need the knowledge of, you need to have the knowledge of prefix and suffixes of a string and just a basic of programming and you will be good to go. So what is KMP? Uh, algorithm so KMP algorithm actually is a string matching algorithm as you already know and it for its implementation it depends upon the prefix function so we'll be first studying prefix function and then we'll be moving on to uh, understanding KMP string or uh, substring search algorithm so the prefix function has the this definition uh, prefix function will be storing as uh, we it is also known as the pi function that is why I have uh, I have written pi here. So we'll be storing it as a as an array, integer array. So uh, pi of i would be uh, the length of the longest prefix of substring 0 through i, uh, which is also a suffix of the substring, right? And here we are talking about the prof proper prefix. Proper prefix of a substring is a is a substring or a prefix which is not equal to substring itself so if i'm talking about the substring abc then if you are talking about the prefix or suffix abc then these are not considered as proper prefix or suffix because uh, they are equal to the substring itself so so the proper uh, we here only will be considering the pro uh, proper prefix or suffixes for calculation of prefix function now first of all what is prefix function as i already told you kmp algorithm completely depends upon prefix function for its implementation so a uh, prefix function the definition we have already seen this is an example of prefix function so here you see uh, for i is equals to zero uh, i'll be considering zero base index system so a character a is at index zero this is at index one and so on so we are using here the same index system which is strings use so we will be using zero base index system so uh pi of 0 would be 0 because it has no proper prefix uh, pi of 1 it has one proper prefix that is a right uh, the whole substring is a b and the proper prefix is a so proper prefix a is not equal to proper proper suffix uh, of length 1 length 1 proper prefix is only a and length, length 1 proper suffix is only b a is not equal to b clearly so the answer is 0 similarly for a for this a b c a string if we see proper suffix a is equal to proper prefix a and that is why the length the maximum length suffix which is also equal to prefix is one that is why uh, pi of three is one similarly for the rest of it you can read more about them uh, on the cpalgorithm.com the link i'll be posting in the description of the video about the prefix function because i already told you this whole course uh, uh, this this a whole course sorry a whole course i am following cpalgorithm.com as a reference so i'll be providing the link in the description so you can learn more about the uh, uh prefix function for example for here you can see the prefix aa matches uh the, sorry the suffix aa matches prefix aa and that is why the prefix function the value of pi function at this index is 2 for this a a b matches the prefix the suffix a a b matches the suffix, uh, prefix a a b that is why pi of this index is equals to 3 so the question is how you can compare uh, it is easy uh, for example if you are going to calculate for substring 0 through this how many characters are the 4 is the 7 so 0 through 6 what you can do you can uh, you can first compare length 5 uh, prefix and suffix length 5 prefix is a through this i guess okay six so you can start uh says the whole string i'm talking about uh the substring zero through six right how many characters sorry seven character yeah so indices are from zero to six if you uh, want to calculate uh pi of six then you would uh, since there are seven characters you would start with six character prefix so six character prefix would be a a b triple a and you will be uh checking whether this six character prefix is equals to six character suffix or not so we see six character suffix is a b or triple a b which is not equal to a uh, six character prefix so six is not the answer then you will be going on for five and then you will be checking for four 
and then you will be checking for three so three character prefix three character prefix is a a b and three character suffix is a a b as well so you can see three character prefix is equal to three character uh, suffix and that is why the answer is three which is the maximum you can achieve so or uh, that is why uh, the prefix or the pi of index six is equal to three now the naive approach you can use the naive approach to calculate this and if i show you here this is the code let me increase the font size uh, on the cplgorgon.com the link i'll be providing in the description so this is the naive approach you can apply where we are uh, running two for nested basically nested for loop and checking the substring it the overall complexity is n cube you can read about it this is very very basic so i'm not going to explain this you go there and try to understand that algorithm that is very very easy uh, the thing that I have explained here that go for five character substrix, uh, uh, prefix and suffix, then go for four character prefix and suffix. That is exactly what is happening there. Understand that first before moving on because understanding of how prefix function actually is calculated is very, very important. Uh, speaking of algorithm, one of the best learning platform, Unacademy, and one of the best practicing platform, CodeChef, are coming together to help you get better at programming and problem solving skills. Unacademy knows how important it is for you to monitor your progress throughout the course. So they have provided a series of mock tests which will help you monitor your progress throughout the course which you can take and which will also help you analyze the area which require, uh, which require improvement. These courses provide right kind of guidance and structured learning for every level of programmer. Whether you are a beginner programmer who has just started with computer programming or an intermediate or advanced level programmer who wants to get better at computer programming. Unacademy has Summit Batch which can help you improve your chances of getting placed in fun companies. It can also help you crack international coding competitions like ACM ICPC. Not only that, if you go for 6 or 12 months subscription, you are eligible, to, uh, eligible for industry accepted course chef certification. It has just started this week, so go and join quickly. You can use my referral code and get 10% off on any subscription plan. There you go. So let's head back to our lecture. Uh, now that you understand the working of prefix function, now you, let's go back and see this code. You see, this is the most expensive operation when you are comparing two substring when you compare two substring you know it requires big of n time since we are not using hashing here uh, it requires big of n time if the substring are of length n right and because of this we are getting an extra uh, n factor in the overall complexity so can the question is can we improve this uh, comparison so first thing one of the most important observation is this there are uh, we'll be trying to uh, come up with an algorithm where we do not have to compare the substring how will we do that this is one of those impo important observations there are two important observation or improvement that we can make this is one of them uh, one of them so the important thing to note here is that uh, the prefix function can only be increased at most by one so basically pi of i plus one would be less than equals to pi of i plus one so basically uh, it can increment at max by one so here you see uh, it was zero so it is incremented by one again here the next is incremented by one only from the previous one and this is not incremented at all this is incremented by one only so we can increment at most by one it, it is possible that it decreases uh, it, that is possible it can decrease by uh, it can decrease and go up to zero that is possible if we if I were to add x here, I guess the next uh, pi of the next index would be 0. It is possible that it falls to 0. That is possible. But it would not increment by uh, more than 1. At max, it can increment by 1 from the previous pi value. And how we are going uh, how we are going to prove this? It is, uh, it is very simple to prove. You can prove it using uh, contradiction so i would like you to try it yourself otherwise i'm going to explain it with an example uh this example you can replace with variables and make it a general case i'm only taking special case so that you can understand it uh, understand it better and the proof remains the same or you can uh, replace these 
numbers with variables and you will be able to generally prove this what i'm going to show you so see suppose uh, we are assuming we'll be proving it by contradiction of course because pi pi of i plus one i have taken five which is uh, incremented by two right so of course we are going to prove it by contradiction so let's assume pi of i was three and pi of i plus one is equals to five see here uh, let i be eight index i be eight so pi of i is cl uh, clearly three because uh, s6 s7 and s8 matches the first three characters so basically uh, these three uh, characters of the suffix suffix of length three uh, matches the prefix of length three i'm considering i is equals to eight right so pi of i is equals to three now i'm saying that pi of i plus one is eight is actually five which is being incremented by more than one we are saying that it cannot increment by more than one but here we are assuming like let's assume that okay it can increment by more than one and so i am incrementing it by two or uh, you can take any number here two three four five or uh, doesn't matter so i'm assuming that i of nine is actually five if that is true so you should see here that if that is true if pi of i plus one is equals to five that means the five last five character ending at index nine match to the first five character basically this suffix is equals to this pre prefix right what i can do is that i can take this suffix remove the last character and this s5 s6 s7 and s8 must match right or uh, s0 s1 s2 and s3 right because pi of 9 is equals to 5 that means these five character may uh, match the first five character that means if you ignore the last character and only consider the first four character they must match the first four character right if that is true then uh, the pi of i which is index 8 pi of i should have been 4 not 3 right so we are uh, reaching to a contradiction that pi of i is actually 3 it, sh uh, it shows that if pi of i plus 1 I am considering 5 then pi of i should have been 4 not 3 and then we are reaching to a contradiction that it should have been 4 not 3 and that is why uh, this claim is actually false and hence our original claim is actually true so you can use variables here and using the same uh, set of argument you can prove using a uh, contradiction i i hope you are understanding what i am trying to say here if you are not able to understand just go through the uh, the article there on the cpalgorithm.com the link which uh, i'll be providing this description if you are not able to understand even though please uh, mention it in the comment section i'll be trying to help so this way you can prove so now we know that prefix function increments at max by one right now uh, how is that going to help us write an algorithm which is efficient enough so let's see how so the clearly this i have already mentioned the cubic algorithm or uh, the cubic complexity is because of we are comparing each character because when you are comparing two substring they are actually being compared internally by their characters right so can we bypass the string comparison now we are going to uh, answer this question so see here uh, this is an important this is another improvement and this is an important uh, condition see here i uh, suppose from 0 to i minus 1 i'm considering this index to be i minus 1 i've already calculated calculated right pi function from 0 to i minus 1 i have already calculated now now i'm going to calculate pi of i to calculate pi of i i need to do this i mean what i have to do we already know that pi of i minus 1 is 3 so pi of y can be at max 4 right so if pi of i is actually at max 4 that means these four character must match should i uh, should i compare all of these four character with these four character to see whether the uh, the uh, pi of i is going to be 4 the answer is no i don't have to why because uh, pi of i minus 1 is 3 that means the first three character already are matching so i don't have to compare the uh, first three characters i only have to compare the fourth character so there is only one comparison there are not all of the characters are not being compared one by one only the last character is being compared so 
uh, pi of i minus 1 is 3 that means first three characters are already matching if pi of i had to be 4 then the fourth character must match the fourth character or prefix right four character is prefix is uh, at position pi of i minus 1 right so that is why i'm comparing the fourth character which is pi of i minus 1 -th character of string to the ith character i don't have to compare all of these three because they already are matching because pi of i minus 1 is already 3 so i'm comparing the fourth character with the ith character if these match then the prefix uh, sorry the pi of i can be pi of i minus 1 plus 1 that is 4 try to understand this this is very uh, very easy to understand i think uh, this should not pose any threat to you and try to understand this so this is very important observation and this way you can see uh, we are not comparing the uh, substring actually we are only comparing a single character which would require big of one time basically constant time comparison now the question is what happens when the last character do not match what if s of pi i minus one is not equal to s of i what is going to happen i'm going to stop the lecture here and i'll be uploading the next lecture tomorrow because the video has already gone lengthy so i'm stopping here if you have any doubt or query try to understand till this point if you have any doubt or query you can uh, ask me in the comment section below so thank you guys for watching and till the next video drops keep coding thank you